and welcome to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these tiny toadstools. So these are appliques that you can add to anything. You could add them to granny squares, you could add them to little purses, um, you could add them to really any project you want. You could put them on a sweater. Anything that you would make uh, an applique for, then these would be the perfect tiny little appliques to make to add. And they work up really quickly so you can make a whole bunch of them in no time at all. Uh, if you are interested, here is kind of a size reference for you with a ruler. So if you are interested in making these tiny toadstools, let us go ahead and jump right into it. Materials for this project that you'll need will be some scissors, a darning needle, uh, or whatever type of needle you like to use to sew your yarn with, and a five millimeter hook and two colors of worsted weight yarn. To get started, go ahead and grab the color you're going to be using for your mushroom caps. This is the perfect scrap buster project because you do not need very much of each color. We're going to start out by making a magic circle. And to make a magic circle, you're just going to take this end of your yarn that's called the tail. It's the end that is not attached to your ball of yarn. You're going to lay it over your fingers with that tail pointing down over these two first fingers. Anchor it with your thumb and then wrap it around those two fingers so that it crosses over the loop that was already there, just like so. And you can kind of anchor that with your other fingers um, behind if you would like to. However is most comfortable for you to hold it. So you've got kind of an X going on and then you're gonna take your hook, you're gonna go under this first one and you're gonna grab the second one. You're going to pull it so that it is pulled to the other side and you're gonna turn. So now you have a loop around your hook and you're just going to take this working yarn that is still attached to the ball band and go over your hook also and you're gonna pull it through that loop. And now you have your magic circle. All you're gonna do is just grab this little tail and pull it out to the front. Um, not necessary, but I like to do that. And this is your magic circle. So we are gonna work into this magic circle just like you would work into a stitch. We're gonna start out by making six single crochets into this magic circle. So when you work into the magic circle, you're gonna work over the side uh, and the tail, both. So we're just gonna work six single crochets. And alternatively, if you don't like to make magic circles, you can do the uh, chaining method where you chain three and slip stitch to that first chain and then you uh, crochet into the, into the little circle that you make that way. Totally up to you, but I, this project will look a little bit better if you use a magic circle just because you don't get a hole in the middle. All right, so we're gonna do six uh, single crochets. I've got five here. Uh, I'll show you for the last one how to do a single crochet, just in case you don't know. You're gonna take your hook and you're gonna put it through the middle. Like I said, you're working with, with the tail and the side of the circle, um, working through both, just holding them together. You're gonna put your hook through. You're gonna yarn over your hook and pull up a loop. Then you're gonna yarn over your hook one more time and you're gonna pull through both of these loops. And that is a single crochet. All right, then you're going to take this magic circle tail from the beginning and you're gonna gently tug on that and it's gonna close up this magic circle. Don't tug on it too tightly just yet. We're gonna go ahead and work into that first single crochet and then we'll pull the rest of the way to close it up completely, just so that it doesn't tighten up so much that it's difficult to get into that first stitch. So now that you've got your circle part of the way tightened up, let me make sure this is nice and focused for you guys. We are going to be working uh, into this first stitch that we made, the first single crochet. So put your hook through and you're gonna do uh, two single crochets into this one stitch. This is called an increase. So I'm just working a single crochet into that first stitch and a second single crochet into that first stitch. Go ahead and grab onto your magic circle tail now and give that a nice solid tug. That is going to close up your circle for you. 
and we have this one increase done now, we are going to do three more increases because we want to do a total of four. And like I said, an increase is when you work two stitches into the one stitch. So just like this, where I work two single crochets into that one single crochet, we're going to do that one more time for the third one. Single crochet, single crochet. And one more time for the fourth one. Single crochet and single crochet in the same stitch. To make our stem, we are going to start out the same way that we started out for the cap. We are going to start by making a magic circle. So if you need a slowed down process of doing that, you can always rewind and watch the first part where I showed you. But I am doing it here also, so you can just kind of be reminded. I will also link in the description box a magic circle tutorial that I did that's just the magic circle if you would like to have that to refer to. Alright, so into this magic circle we are only going to work four single crochets. So working over both the side and the um, tail, you're going to work four single crochets. Two. three and four. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to tug gently on this magic circle tail so that we don't uh, tighten it all the way shut, but we get it, you know, get it started shutting. And then we're going to go over to this first stitch that we made and we are going to work a single crochet into that stitch. All right, and at that point you can go ahead and pull on your tail, tighten it up nicely, and believe it or not, the only thing left for this little tiny stem is a chain. So in order to make a chain, you're just going to have your hook, you're going to yarn over, and you're going to pull through the loop that's on your hook. And that's it. The stem is super tiny. <laughs> Make sure that you leave yourself a tail if you're going to be sewing this onto a project. Um, you're going to want to leave yourself a little bit of a tail anyways just to hide your tail um, and sew it kind of into your stem. Uh, also we're going to be attaching the cap uh, with our tails. All right, and now you've got your two little pieces needed to make your tiny toadstool applique. If you aren't wanting the color of your stem to show through on the edge of your cap, then you're going to want to use the color from your cap to sew on to the top of your stem. But if you're planning on doing dots, then you might want to use your um, tail to sew the white onto the cap. So you might want to use this, this, the tail from your stem to sew the little dots on. So that is totally up to you. I'm going to show you how to attach it and I'm going to do it with um, the color from the cap and then I will also use the color from the stem to put some dots on. Now something important to uh, keep in mind is make sure your magic circle tails are pulled nice and tight so that those circles are closed. And when you're all done doing this, you're going to want to weave this in back and forth into the back of your applique uh, and or tie it to some of the other strings that you've got going on back there and you can still leave those strings long for sewing later, but you're going to want to secure it in some way so that your magic circle stays closed. If you just leave it um, dangling, you may have your magic circle open up slightly, which isn't a huge deal, but you know, that may not be the look you're going for. And um, if you're going to be washing whatever it is that this is on a lot, that magic circle could come open. So just to keep in mind that you do want to make sure you secure your magic circles. All right, so go ahead and grab your darning needle, AKA whatever you like to use to sew with yarn. You can use just like larger sewing needles or you can use plastic. I like to use these metal bent tip needles and you're just going to thread the needle with your yarn. And to finish off this little corner here where we stopped uh, crocheting, I'm going to go under the next stitch that would have been uh, in line if we had been crocheting still, and I'm going to pull that yarn through. 
and that is going to just kind of make the side look a little nicer and put me in the spot I want to be to start to sew. Now you're going to want to take your little stem here and you're going to want to line it up with your mushroom cap and decide exactly how you want to attach it. I've got a lot of tails going on right now so you will have to just kind of pull them out of your way as you go. Now I am attached on. I want to keep this kind of centered so I'm going to try to hold them to keep it centered. And it's a little awkward because I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing and do it. <laughs> but hopefully you can get the idea. So I've got this centered how I want. By the way, you're putting the side that you did not do the increases on down here um, at the bottom. I think that you can probably tell that and that's where the tail is for where you had uh, finished off your project for the cap. But just so that you know the increases are at the top and you've got that more flat side down here at the bottom. Okay. And we are just going to sew it on. And it is that simple. Uh, it doesn't take much sewing at all to attach it. This is such a tiny little piece. Um, and now that you have finished, like I said, you can either sew those magic circle tails back and forth to secure them, or you can just knot them if you want. So I just came out in the back when I got done sewing that, um, right next to where this little magic circle tail came from. And then it's just as simple as tying a couple of knots. And this will keep that magic circle from opening up later, you know, when it's getting washed or just over time. Just give it a couple of knots. Do the same for the white magic circle tail with your stem. If you're not sewing dots, you can just go ahead and um, weave this down to the magic circle and do a knot. Um, and if you are doing dots, you can go ahead and attach on with this. Um, if you're doing your stem in a color that's not white, you could obviously uh, grab some white to do your dots and just do it that way. But if you're doing your stem white, then um, you might as well do your dots with the stem, the stem uh, tail is what my thought process was. And once you've got all of the dots that you want, let me throw one more. I'm going to go in through the middle. Let me throw one more in here so that it doesn't look like uneven and weird for me anyway. <laughs> um, once you've done that, what you're going to do is, like I said, you're, you can just uh, weave down to that magic circle tail. So I'm just going to go in through the backs of these stitches and pop out right next to that tail. This will also put me in position with the white so that later when I go to sew my applique to a project, um, my white is already down there with the white. You have made yourself a tiny toadstool. So I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope that you make lots of tiny toadstools. They're so little and cute. These could be confetti on like a table for a party or something. There's a lot of things you could do with these. Um, I would love to hear what projects you're going to be using your tiny toadstools in. And I hope that you have a great day and that you check out the rest of my content. Uh, hit that subscribe button and leave a like and a comment. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!